The enormous fire wave swept out in all directions from the Black Fox Sea. The remnant waves created by the fire wave caused the trees within a thousand meters of the valley to emit a puff sound as they turned to ashes. If one were to look down on the scene from above, one would be able to see a lush green color within a thousand meter radius disappear almost instantly, with the Demon Flame Valley as its center. Even the forest more than a thousand meters away had turned to a withering yellow. Clearly, the high temperature contained within the fire wave had vaporized all the moisture within this region. The might of the fire lotus was this frightening. At this moment, the Demon Flame Valley was in complete chaos. The enormous rocks that rolled down from the wall caused the people from the Demon Flame Valley, who did not have time to prepare themselves, to suffer great losses. It was still all right for some agile experts. They were still able to dodge this great calamity with their speed. However, those who were slow were buried in an enormous rock ruin. The experts in the open ground, who were late to leave, only managed to flee from the valley after some graceful dodging. Due to the frightening wave from the enormous fire in the sky, no one dared to fly. They were afraid of being struck by the wave. Their ending would likely be quite miserable if that happened. Only after everyone fled the Demon Flame Valley in a miserable manner did they stop running, but they had all been shaken up pretty badly. They stood on a slope and looked at the many mountain peaks around them that had suddenly become empty. All of them involuntarily inhaled a cool breath. The forest of this mountain range had been destroyed by Xiao Yan's fire lotus. Everyone stood outside of the valley in a hushed manner. The atmosphere was very quiet. There was a look of sedation within the eyes of quite a number of people. It was likely that even an ordinary elite doe zone would have difficulty creating such frightening destruction. It was unexpected that it all came from Xiao Yan's hands. Only at this moment did the doubt regarding the rumor of Xiao Yin being able to contend with an elite Do zone quietly disappear. Within the crowd, Su Mei, Wu Tai, Old Ingu, and the other helpers that Xiao Li had summoned exchanged looks with each other. They could see a shock that was difficult to hide in the eyes of the other party. This was not the first time that they had seen Xiao Yan's Fire Lotus Do technique. When they had followed him to the Jiama Empire back then, Xiao Yin had displayed it once against the Misty Cloud sect. However, the strength then was much weaker compared now. Clearly, the might of this Fire Lotus Do technique had grown extremely quickly following the increase of Xiao Yan's level. The might of this skill is this frightening with a mere six star Do Huang strength. When he reaches the Do Zone class, it is likely that it will be difficult for him to find an opponent within the Do Zone class. The growth potential of this person is really too frightening. One should not be enemies with him. This thought appeared and remained in the hearts of Su Mei's group at this moment. They had a type of friendship with Xiao Yin, and they also knew a little about him. This young person had made quite a number of enemies during these years. Although many of these opponents were way stronger than him, he was still able to persist until the end. Moreover, the only person who grew stronger during the battle was him alone. Even Han Feng, who was once regarded as the Pill Emperor of the Black Corner region, had declined during such a long battle. Today, he might even completely perish in this place. Although everyone knew that Han Feng was an elite Do Zone, their hearts gradually leaned in favor of Xiao Yin after experiencing the terror of the Fire Lotus firsthand. This fellow's Fire Lotus is really stronger. Xiao Li looked around. He saw the thousand meters of scarlet ground and involuntarily shook his head. He sighed and laughed. The shock and fear of the experts and leaders of factions from the Black Corner region around him were all captured in his eyes. A torrent-like pride quietly surged within his heart. Being able to frighten the rebellious experts from the Black Corner region until they were docile was definitely not what an ordinary expert could achieve. Yet, Xiao Yin, his third brother, had done it. A warm, prideful smile surfaced within Xiao Li's eyes as he raised his head and looked at the skinny back in the distant sky. He had basically seen Xiao Yin grow one step at a time through these years. The young man back then had endured ridicule as he carried humiliation and the reputation of being a useless person. With his dedication and stubbornness, the young man left his home by himself and roamed the empire. Xiao Li remembered a distant memory of sudden understanding. He finally understood why his father placed hope in his third brother, who everyone had treated as a joke, when he saw the young man carrying an enormous heavy ruler at the edge of the desert, enduring his lonely training. Time flowed by, and the young man had gradually lost his sentimentalism during his training. 
he appeared to have undergone a transformation. He and his ruler fought with a mighty being, the Misty Cloud Sect, in front of a countless number of stunned gazes in the Jiama Empire. At that time, many people might have ridiculed the ignorance of trying to do the impossible. However, a couple of years later, when a young figure stood at the Misty Cloud Mountain and used a calm voice to determine the fate of the Misty Cloud Sect, finally someone recalled the scene from back then. On top of letting out a shock of exclamation, they had to learn how to exhale and inhale again. It was indeed the case of not bullying a young man for being poor. TL, not bullying a young man for being poor, meaning that a young person has limitless potential even if he is currently in a bad state. Time was just like water, and the tender youth had transformed into a mature, young man within a couple of years. These years, he had left behind memories as well as a reputation everywhere he had walked. At this moment, those people who were acquainted with him would involuntarily feel stunned when recalling this scene. Who would have expected a couple of years ago that this young man, who was looked down upon and discriminated within the clan, would be able to create such a reputation? Father, your eyesight is really very good. Third brother might well become the most outstanding person in our clan's history. He might even be able to surpass the so-called Shao clan's ancestors, who might not exist that you mentioned back then. Shao Li's thoughts slowly calmed down as he raised his head, looked at the skinny back in the sky and muttered softly. The black fog scattered and drifted in the sky. After the frightening eruption of the fire lotus, the originally enormous black fog region had been completely destroyed. The permeating black fog was scattering at a rate visible to the naked eye. Cheyenne's eyes were icy cold as he watched the swiftly scattering black fog. He took out a couple of medicinal pills from his ring and stuffed them into his mouth. Immediately, a faint redness surfaced on his pale white face. Using the three-colored fire lotus exhausted a ton of dochi. However, it was fortunate that Xiao Yan's strength was already mighty. Hence, the sequelae of gradually descending into unconsciousness the moment the fire lotus left his hand did not happen anymore. The little fairy doctor stood facing the wind beside Xiao Yan. The demonic charm contained in her grayish-purple eyes firmly stared at a certain spot in the black fog. A dense poison fog quietly churned on her hand as she prepared to attack. The black fog gradually scattered under the watchful eyes of the two people, revealing an extremely miserable figure within. At this moment, Han Feng's clothes were in tatters. His body did not even have a patch of skin that looked normal. Blood bubbles surfaced in a dense manner and his hair had been completely incinerated. His face and chest were filled with blood traces. If one were to look carefully, half of this fellow's hands had been blasted apart. Fresh blood dripped from them. Looking at this scene, it was obvious that despite having preserved his life, Han Feng's injuries were extremely frightening. It seemed as though he would remain a cripple even if he healed. Everyone on the ground looked at Han Feng's appearance and involuntarily wiped off their cold sweat. Their hearts held some lingering fear for the terrifying destructive strength of the Fire Lotus. Olding Shan, who had already ceased fighting, looked at Han Feng's miserable manner. A fear also surfaced on his old face. He knew that if it had been him instead of Han Feng, it was likely that his fate would have been even worse than Han Feng's appearance now. Looks like there is no hope for the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva. This little fellow is too troublesome to deal with. Your carefulness is not without reason. Olding Shan sighed within his heart. He turned his head and spoke with a bitter smile to Emo Tian Xing by the side. Hearing this, Emo Tian Xing's face revealed a cold smile. He faintly said, According to what I know, this fire lotus is still not the strongest trump card of his. This three-colored fire lotus's strength might be great, but it is impossible to cause someone at old ground demon ghost level to be seriously injured. Olding Shan's eyes immediately shrank when he heard Emo Tian Xing's words. A moment later, he quietly nodded. The greed in his heart for the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva finally paled. A treasure might be good, but that was only the case if one had the life to enjoy it. Xiao Yan was naturally unaware that Mo Tian Xing's words had dissuaded Old Ying Shan of continuing to pester him. At this moment, the killing intent within his dark black eyes immediately surged upon seeing Han Feng revealing himself. However, before he could act, the little fairy doctor by his side rushed forward in a lightning-like manner. Within an instant, she appeared in front of Han Feng. Her eyebrows contained an evilness as a cold and indifferent cry was suddenly emitted from her small mouth, blood corrosion. Han Feng's body stiffened when the cry sounded. 
Immediately, a strange blood-red color surfaced on his body, turning him into something like a blood person. You. You use poison? The boiling feeling that was emitted from the blood within his body caused Han Feng's face to instantly turn pale. His eyes viciously glared at the little fairy doctor as he hissed. The little fairy doctor's gaze coldly glanced at Han Feng. She extended her finger and immediately pressed it heavily on the latter's head. A strange snort was emitted from her mouth. Han Feng's eyes suddenly widened as this sound landed in his ears. His eyes appeared to be about to pop out. Then, he heard a muffled sound as his skin burst apart. Fresh blood transformed into a blood fog that scattered into the sky. The sudden blood fireworks caused everyone to feel stunned. They immediately saw Han Feng's broken body fall head first from the sky. Finally, it landed heavily on a rock. A snap sound appeared and even his bones split apart at this moment. The world had become completely silent as everyone stared at the pile of rotten flesh. No one expected that Han Feng, who had grand plans just an hour ago, had at this moment fallen to such an end. While everyone was hissing, none of them sensed the threat of spiritual strength quietly spring out from the pile of bloody meat. It entered the ground and swiftly fled. Just when the threat of spiritual strength was about to flee, a black figure suddenly fell from the sky. A fist violently smashed into the ground and was withdrawn from it. A spiritual strength was struggling with all its might in his hand. Han Feng's savage and vicious face faintly surfaced in it. Senior, if you were to leave now, how would you be worthy of the big gift that I have given you? Xiao Yin smiled slightly as he looked at the spiritual strength in his hand. However, his smile contained a blade-like killing intent. The almost invisible spiritual strength struggled with all its might within Xiao Yan's hand but it was ultimately unable to escape its restraints. Furious and vicious roars were faintly emitted while it struggled. Xiaoyan's eyes glanced coldly and indifferently at this spirit. Han Feng was really a decisive person. He was actually willing to abandon most of his spiritual strength and use only a trace to escape. This small thread of spiritual strength was something that even an ordinary elite Dozone would have difficulty sensing. If Xiaoyan had not been present, it was likely that this fellow would have once again fled. In front of Xiao Yin, who possessed an exceptionally sharp spiritual perception, this little trick of Han Feng was not something that could be hidden. This threat of spiritual strength had not only failed to hide its figure by fleeing underground, but had instead exposed itself to Xiao Yin. A cluster of jade green flames rose on his hand, wrapping around the spiritual strength. Xiao Yin then took out a jade bottle and threw the spiritual strength in. He wiped his hand and a faint fire layer made of jade green flame was formed at the mouth of the bottle. I will entertain you properly once this is over, senior. The corner of Xiao Yan's mouth was lifted into a cold smile. With a flip of his hand, he returned the jade bottle to his storage ring. Xiao Yan only raised his head after securing the spiritual strength. His eyes looked all around him, and he saw how the demon flame valley had been turned to ruins. His calm eyes slowly took in the open ground. The area immediately became quiet when they saw Xiao Yan's sweeping gaze. The experts and leaders from the Black Corner region, who had been invited by Han Feng, felt their hearts leap. Their gazes drifted uncertainly and were afraid to meet Xiao Yan's eyes. They had witnessed this great battle today. There had been two, or three if one included the so-called Fierce Spirit, Elite Dozongs on their side. However, these three Elite Dozongs had all perished by Xiao Yan's hand. It is fortunate that I did not indicate that I wanted to follow Han Feng. Otherwise, quite a number of people quietly wiped off cold sweat as they rejoiced in their hearts. Xiao Yan's gaze did not pause for a long time on these people. After looking once around, it paused on Olding Shan. Olding Shan's heart tightened a little after having sensed Xiao Yan's land on him. However, his face did not reveal anything. Powerful Dou Qi also quietly circulated within his body as he prepared himself to fight at any moment. Old Mr. Ing Shan, I can let today's bygones be bygones. However, I hope that this doesn't happen a second time. Otherwise, a cold glint flashed within Xiao Yan's eyes as he spoke with a deep voice. Old Ing Shan's expression changed a little upon hearing the hidden threat within Xiao Yan's words. However, his eyes shrank before he could reply. He saw Su Qian and the little fairy doctor quietly appear, one in front and one behind him. Their auras faintly locked onto him. With Old Ing Shan's strength, just dealing with First Elder Su Qian alone would leave him at a stalemate. If the stronger little fairy doctor joined, 
he would be left with not even the slightest chance of victory. Olding Shan's eyes flickered, and his expression changed abruptly once again because he had realized that Mo Tian Xing had also shifted a couple of steps away without leaving a trace, coincidentally sealing off his final path of retreat. This old fellow is really shameless. Being locked onto by three elite dozongs, even Olding Shan did not dare to have any unusual thoughts within his heart. A somewhat stiff smile was forced onto his old face as he said to Xiao Yin, the old Mia's underestimated little friend. The old me has also been instigated by Han Feng today. Please do not blame me. The expressions of the many experts present were interesting when they saw that Xiao Yin had made an elite dozong speak such soft words. The gazes that landed on Xiao Yin revealed an even denser respect without their owners realizing it. Xiao Yin smiled when he saw Olding Shan's manner. After a big battle, both the little fairy doctor's condition and his were quite weary. Their fighting strength had been greatly reduced. If he really forced Old Ing Shan to go all out and fight, an unexpected change might occur, especially with a neutral Emotion Xing present. Although this fellow appeared to be standing on their side now, one could not guarantee that he would control himself and not intervene should their fight with Old Ing Shan end up with both of them seriously injured. Hence, it was naturally the best if they could frighten off Old Ing Shan. Is Old Ing Shan willing to part with the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva? Xiaoyan glanced at Mo Tian Xing and laughed faintly. Olding Shan involuntarily let out a bitter laugh when he heard this. He shook his head and said, Such a unique treasure deserves to be owned by someone with ability. Since little friend has such power, the old me will naturally cease meddling. However, some people might be having the sweet dream of obtaining both the items and wealth. Olding Shan looked at Mo Tian Xing with a cold smile when he spoke until this point. Mo Tian Xing did not get angry despite being implicitly mocked by Old Ing Shan. He smiled and said, Old fellow, you should stop trying to find trouble for me. The old me is extremely reassured that the Bodhisattva body transformation saliva is in little friend Xiao Yan's hand. Not only did Old Ing Shan scoff at these words, but Xiao Yan also involuntarily moved the corner of his mouth. This old fellow really had quite the thick face. Kuk, little friend Xiao Yan. The old me has acted according to our agreement and did not intervene to help Han Feng. May I know, Mo Tian Xing ignored the thoughts within the hearts of those around him. He changed the topic and smiled as he spoke to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's eyes landed on the little fairy doctor when he heard this. He nodded slightly, and she waved her hand. A jade bottle was tossed to Mo Tian Xing. Mo Tian Xing extended his hand and a wind surged out of it after he saw the item tossed over by the little fairy doctor. He immediately grabbed the jade bottle from the air and wrapped various layers of dochi around its surface. Only then did he carefully open the bottle cap and to reveal grayish-brown medicinal powder within. One could not blame Mo Tian Xing for being this careful. He knew a little about the little fairy doctor. He knew that her poison skill was deep and unpredictable. If he was careless, it was likely that he would be tricked by her. The scene of Han Feng's body exploding earlier was clearly captured in his eyes. Though part of the reason Han Feng exploded was because he had been seriously injured, but potent poison should never be underestimated. Mix the medicinal powder within boiling water. Allow your son to soak within it for one month. The poison will be completely gone by then. The little fairy doctor coldly explained after glancing at Mo Tian Xing, who had carefully received the jade bottle. Mo Tian Xing sighed in relief after hearing this. He eventually cupped his hands to the little fairy doctor as he replied. The little fairy doctor ignored this thanks by him. From the way she saw it, this person was too cunning and too much of a hypocrite. He was really detestable. Shayan looked all around him after dismissing Mo Tian Xing. He looked over the demon flame valley that had turned to ruins and a cold smile surfaced on his face. This big battle would really destroy the demon flame valley's reputation. Now that their headquarters was destroyed, this demon flame valley would no longer have the strength to survive in the Black Corner region. Xiao Gate would be around to deal with those who had escaped. In the future, these people would have difficulty traveling even an inch in the Black Corner region. Xiao Yan's body moved gently and he appeared beside Xiao Li's group. The many experts around hurriedly cupped their hands together when they saw this. Waves of congratulatory laughs repeatedly sounded. Xiao Yan also smiled in response to these people. After which, his gaze turned to Xiao Li, who smiled and said, Relax, 
I have already arranged for some people to remain outside the Demon Flame Valley. The people from the Demon Flame Valley who escaped will not be able to run very far. Shaya nodded slightly. In the Black Corner region, kindness was something that could be thrown into a smelly drain. Their grudge with the Demon Flame Valley was something that could not be resolved. Some hidden danger must be removed in order to ensure the safety of the students heading out to train. While Xiao Yin was chatting with Xiao Li, Xiao Li had managed to instruct the members of Xiao Gate to entertain Su Mei and the others. Those experts and factions who had quite a good relationship with the Demon Flame Valley and Han Feng earlier, quietly left with a new awareness of the situation. They all knew that the Demon Flame Valley would no longer exist in the future. Of course, their hearts did not have any thoughts of taking revenge. Han Feng and the experts from the Demon Flame Valley had mostly died. Who would go and defend Xiao Gate and the Jianan Academy for no reason? After dispatching some members, Xiao Li began to give the order to search the ruins of the Demon Flame Valley. This Demon Flame Valley was an ancient faction. Their accumulation over the many years should result in quite a deep foundation. Various Qi methods, Dou techniques, weapons, and the many unique spiritual medicines were things that caused one's eyes to turn red. Now that they had eliminated the Demon Flame Valley, the many things that they had owned would naturally need to be removed. These things were undoubtedly a windfall to Xiao Gate. Although Xiao Yin and the others had this thought, they were unable to find even a trace of the treasure warehouse after searching for half an hour. It was as though the Demon Flame Valley had never owned these things. Xiao Yin and Xiao Li brows lightly knit as they looked at the members from Xiao Gate helplessly returning from the ruins. Did the members of the Demon Flame Valley move all of these things away? In his doubt, Xiao Yan's gaze suddenly glanced at Zi Yan, who had crossed her arms over her chest. He was involuntarily startled as he smiled and said, I had forgotten about you, girl. Isn't searching for treasure your speciality? Humph, you only remembered me now? Zi Yan coldly snorted at Xiao Yan's words. Clearly, she was somewhat displeased with Xiao Yan for remembering her only at this moment. Xiao Yin involuntarily let out a bitter laugh when he saw her pout. He persuaded her with nice words, causing a slight smile appear on this little granddad's face. After which she shut her eyes and slowly opened them a moment later. Her body moved and rushed to the deepest parts of the Demon Flame Valley. Xiao Yin, Xiao Li, the little fairy doctor, and the others behind hurriedly followed upon seeing this. They followed behind Zi Yin as they passed through a long path within the valley. Around a couple of minutes later, their sight was covered by a rock wall that was filled with wild grass. The few human figures slowly stopped in front of this rock wall. Their gazes swept over it, but they did not sense anything unusual about it. Their gazes immediately swept doubtfully to Zi Yin. Zi Yin immediately smiled pridefully when she saw the lost look on the faces of most of Xiao Yan's group. Her body flashed and moved, appearing at a certain part of the rock wall. After which, she tightly clenched her little fist and violently smashed it down. Rock fragments shot in all directions and a crack line formed in the rock wall. Zi Yin once again stepped forward. Her little fist was just like a machine that opened mountains as she forcefully struck the mountain wall and formed a tunnel that was at least 10 meters deep. After which, Xiao Yin and the rest saw a dark black cave hidden deep within the rock wall. Xiao Yin sighed in relief after seeing the deep cave behind the wall. He helplessly shook his head and bitterly laughed. It is indeed here, but this little girl's treasure-seeking methods are really too barbaric. Shayan extended his hand and pulled the excited-faced Zi Yin behind him as he studied the cave behind the rock wall. After which, his eyes made contact with the little fairy doctor, Su Qian, and Xiao Li. The Dou Qi within their bodies quietly circulated. Only then did they slowly make their way to the hole that had been forcefully created by Zi Yin. They slowly walked in. They were extremely careful where they placed each footstep since they were unaware of what was hidden here. They made their way through the small tunnel before finally stopping inside of the cave a moment later. Standing at this spot, they could vaguely see some light emitted from within the cave. Some magical beast drawings were present on the rock walls surrounding the cave. At a glance they appeared to possess a stern, fierce aura. However, this kind of deterrence was completely useless against Xiao Yan's group. Su Qian walked at the front. Among all of them, he had preserved the most of his strength. He did not exhaust much strength while dealing with Olding Shan. It was safest to have him be at the front while exploring this cave where they were ignorant of possible traps. Within the cave were long rock stairs. 
The rock stairs extended into the faint darkness below where one had difficulty seeing. Some moonlight rocks, emitting a faint light, had been placed on the surrounding mountain walls in a mosaic manner, expelling the darkness within the cave. The couple of them walked along the rock stairs, slowly descending. Around ten minutes or so later, they finally arrived at the end. At the edge of this flight of stairs was a tightly shut rock door. The rock door was completely black in color with moss coverings all over it, giving it the faint sense of being extremely heavy. Ziyin immediately volunteered when she saw that it was a rock door. Her little face was filled with excitement. This little girl seemed to like to destroy things. You should just wait quietly, Xiaoyan helplessly shook his head and grabbed Ziyin. After which, he nodded to Su Qian. No one knew the situation in this place. Hence, it was best to be careful. Su Qian smiled when he saw this. His shriveled hand slowly pressed on the rock door. After which, the expression in his eyes became stern. A majestic dochi that was sufficient to destroy mountains and break rocks surged out of his arm in a lightning-like manner. After which, it violently smashed against the rock door with an extremely loud sound. Rock fragments flew in all directions and the rock door was instantly covered with crack lines. With a bang, the door suddenly collapsed. A glaring light suddenly shot out. Everyone's eyes narrowed instinctively when the intense light appeared. Immediately, Cheyenne's expression changed slightly as he softly cried out, First Elder, be careful. Cheyenne's cry had just sounded when a fishy wind shot from behind the rock door. The fierce wind pounced towards Su Qian at the front. The sudden unexpected change did not cause Su Qian to panic. His hands curled as his gentle sleeves immediately turned into something as hard as metal. He violently swept them in front of him. The sharp sound of rushing wind whistled and resounded throughout the cave. As the sleeve swept out, a wind surged out like a wave and smashed into the thing that was pouncing over. After which, Xiao Yin and the others heard a sharp scream as the enormous figure suddenly shot backwards, smashing heavily on the ground. Su Qian's sleeves moved once again after having forced back the sneak attacker with one strike. Wild wind whistled and the dust in front of him was completely expelled, revealing the space behind the rock door. An extremely spacious warehouse appeared in front of Xiao Yan's group. The light within the warehouse was extremely bright. All the surroundings of the warehouse had been built from tough black metal rock. At a glance, this warehouse seemed to have been opened up from a black metal rock vein. There were quite a number of shelves within the warehouse. Many scrolls were orderly arranged on them. On the other side were quite a number of crystal cabinets. One could faintly see many rare medicinal ingredients placed within them. Everyone's gazes slowly swept over the warehouse. Immediately, their gazes paused on the enormous snake-shaped magical beast on the ground. Clearly, it was the sneak attacker from earlier. A Do Wang-class magical beast dares to attack the old me. Su Qian slowly walked into the warehouse. He glanced at the magical beast, which had coiled itself up. It showed its savage snake tongue to them. It should be the guardian of this place, Xiao Yin also smiled. His gaze merely swept over the magical beast before turning to the warehouse. Surprise flashed across his eyes when he saw so many scrolls. He clicked his tongue and praised, It is indeed worthy of being an ancient faction that has existed for so many years. This collection is indeed good. These are all arranged in terms of class. Shali involuntarily laughed as he walked closer to a bookshelf and looked at the Xian class low level, words written on it. Xiaoya nodded. His gaze swept around before he walked to the deepest part of the warehouse. An ordinary Xian class Do technique or Qi method would not catch his eye. He was somewhat curious about whether the Demon Flame Valley had a collection of high class Qi methods or Do techniques that would cause even him to feel surprise. Seeing that Xiao Yan's group had begun searching the warehouse without any fear, the enormous snake that was covered by green-colored scales immediately coiled and lifted its body. While extending its tongue, it swung its tail, carrying an enormous force that violently swept towards Xiao Yan's group. Its tail had just been swung, and had yet to approach its target when it was grabbed by a small hand disproportionate to the size of the tail. The owner of the small hand glanced at the enormous snake before curling her mouth. After which, she pulled the tail and dragged the snake out of the warehouse. Regardless of how the enormous snake struggled, the small hand that contained a frightening strength and did not tremble even a little. This little girl's brute strength is really frightening. 
I wonder just what kind of frightening existence her actual form is. Xiao Yin involuntarily shook his head and sighed as he watched the wailing snake-shaped magical beast get dragged away out of the warehouse by Zi Yin and thrown into some unknown place. I am also not very certain. When I saw this girl back then, she had already accidentally eaten a matured body transforming grass. However, by being able to possess such a frightening strength as a child, it is likely that her actual body is extraordinary. Su Qian knit his brows and replied, however, it is rumored that there are quite a number of mysterious magical beast clans south of the central plains and the continent. The strength of the magical beast clans are extremely powerful. Perhaps, one might be able to obtain a little information about this little girl's actual form there. Magical Beast Clan? Cheyenne's footsteps paused when he heard this somewhat foreign name. In those places, most of the magical beasts live together like a tribe. Moreover, when they reach a certain level, some magical beast, especially the unique beasts who possess an ancient bloodline, gain an intelligence that is not inferior to that of humans. Moreover, they are able to transform into a human shape. Adding this to their long lifespan, their foundation strength is naturally quite great. Even an ordinary human faction would not dare to offend them. Of course, there are... Su Qian stared at Xiao Yan when he spoke until this point and said, There are some human clans that have a heritage that also originate from ancient times. Xiao Yan's walking footsteps suddenly paused. A moment later he quietly nodded. He knew that what Su Qian was saying was likely the kind of mysterious clan similar to the one behind Sun Air. The Central Plains is the most interesting place in the Dochi continent. The size of that place is incomparably wide with experts as numerous as the clouds. One can say that standing at the peak of that place is equivalent to standing at the peak of the Dochi continent. Su Qian smiled faintly and said, At that place, you might gradually come into contact with the faction behind your little girlfriend. However, it is fortunate that the current you is no longer that small the Dochi when you had just entered the academy. There are some things which you gradually possess the strength to fight for. However, you have only obtained the qualification to fight for it. If you wish to reach that step in your heart, you will need an even greater strength. Shayan nodded gently. His hand slowly caressed a scroll in front of him. He inhaled a deep breath of air and slowly suppressed the storm within his heart. However, that pretty face, like an ethereal lotus blooming within this mundane world, quietly surfaced. This face had difficulty disappearing. The hand under Xiao Yan's sleeves was suddenly tightened. A heat that was difficult to hide also rose within his eyes. He clearly remembered the words that Sun Air had told him before she left. Before reaching the Dozone class, he must not make contact. It was likely that she was worried about the various obstructions from within the clan when they met. The young face revealed a determination under the light. From the way he saw it back then. A Dozong appeared to be a distant and unreachable level. Now, however, it was within reach. Wait for me. At that time, I will let everyone in your clan know that your eyesight is the best. Xiaoyan softly muttered in his heart. His eyes also erupted into a heated expression that one had never seen, ambition and anticipation. The so-called trash of the Xiao clan would ultimately give everyone a big shock. By the time Xiaoyan's withdrew his mind, his footsteps had also come to a stop. He had already walked to the end of the warehouse without realizing it. The shelves beside him did not have many scrolls like the ones in front. Instead, it only had four ancient wooden boxes. These few wooden boxes were wrapped in wrought iron with some ancient drawings carved onto them. One could tell at a glance that they were not ordinary items. The surroundings of this bookshelf were not without any protection like the other bookshelves. There was a faint light barrier around them, isolating them. The dense energy vaguely being emitted by the light barrier caused surprise to flash across Xiao Yan's eyes. Good things did indeed need to be a little unique. Xiao Yan was not in a hurry to forcefully damage this light barrier. As this thought flashed across his heart, his gaze slowly swept around the bookshelf and immediately paused on two simple words above the bookshelf. A smile surfaced on Xiao Yan's face as he looked at these two words. It seemed that his trip was not wasted this time around. D-Class Qi methods and Do techniques were rare items. Moreover, for them to be able to be placed so preciously by the old ground demon ghost, it was likely that they were not some ordinary items. A faint light curtain covered the bookshelf. This light curtain might appear thin and weak, but it contained a strong energy. Xiaoyan's gaze cautiously swept over the light barrier. 
A moment later, he suddenly emitted a surprised sound. He had discovered that the surroundings of this light barrier contained some spatial traces that were difficult to notice. This light barrier should be something placed by the old ground demon ghost. It contains some spatial strength within it. Although it is not very strong, it is likely that any forceful attempt to destroy it would damage the items inside. Su Qian by his side also discovered the uniqueness of this light barrier. He immediately frowned a little and spoke somewhat awkwardly. These treasures and secret books usually possess some restrictions. If one were to make a mistake, they would be destroyed and one would return empty-handed. Xiaoyan nodded slightly. He flicked his finger and jade green flame wisp appeared on its tip. It gently made contact with the light curtain. The light curtain began to fluctuate after the flame made contact with it. Circular ripples spread out from the point of contact. Suddenly, the space outside of the light barrier began to distort. Xiaoyan frowned slightly when he noticed the change. The flame on his finger slowly scattered. Although this light barrier might seem weak, the energy that was contained within it would suddenly explode if it was forcefully destroyed. That explosive force might not be powerful, but it should not be much of a problem to destroy the scrolls with it. Seeing Xiaoyan withdraw his hand, Su Qian and the others understood that this light barrier was not as easy to undo as they had imagined. They all descended deep into thought. The old ground demon ghost is indeed worthy of being a seven-star elite dozo. Even a seal that he has left behind is so troublesome, Su Qian sighed as he spoke. This kind of feeling of being able to see a treasure but being unable to take it was awful. Xiaoyan gently knit his brows. He suddenly turned and faced Zi Yin who was hopping back down having finished off the magical beast. A joy immediately flashed onto his face. He had almost forgotten that Zi Yin seemed to have a natural immunity to these energy seals. Back then, she had been able to break through the dense energy seal within the inner academy without it posing any obstruction. Hmph, what are you thinking of doing? Zi Yin immediately became cautious. She snorted after seeing Xiao Yan's smiling manner upon her return. Take out all the things on the shelf, and I will return all of the medicinal ingredients that you have deposited with me. Moreover, I will help you refine all of them into flavors that you like the most, Xiaoyan softly laughed. Ziyin's gem-like eyes immediately brightened when she heard this. However, she acted in a calm manner and walked in front of the bookshelf. She glanced at the light barrier outside of the bookshelf and immediately said, Worried, you must keep your word. Xiaoyan smiled and nodded. Seeing this, Ziyin finally turned her body and extended her small hand into the light barrier. After which, she reached the bookshelf without any obstruction in front of the group's shocked faces. She began to pull out the four wooden boxes one at a time. The strange ability of this girl really amazes people. Not only does she possess a great strength, but she also has the special ability to sense rare medicinal ingredients. Now, she even possesses an immunity to these energy barriers. Su Qian involuntarily shook his head, watching as Zi Yin removed the four wooden boxes without much effort. His tone was filled with astonishment. Xia Yin nodded his head while sharing the same thought. He immediately took the four ancient wooden boxes from Zi Yan's hands and opened them one after another. Two silver-colored scrolls were placed within the first box. The material of these scrolls were quite strange, appearing just like a kind of strange crystal. Their surface even possessed a slight lightning that roamed around like silver snakes. Surprise flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes when he saw these extraordinary-looking scrolls. After which, he took one out and slowly pulled it open. Rushing Lightning Mirror, D-Class Middle Level, Lightning Affinity Qi Method. The surprise in Xiao Yan's eyes grew even denser when he saw the introduction written on the scroll. Lightning Affinity Qi methods were quite rare. Such high-class ones were even harder to find. It was unexpected that they would find one here. Second brother, this is something good. Xiao Yin raised his head and smiled to Xiao Li. After which, Xiao Yao then tossed the scroll to him. Xiao Yin belonged to the fire affinity. A lightning affinity Qi method had little use to him. Xiao Li hurriedly opened the scroll after receiving it. Joy immediately surfaced on his face as he excitedly said, It is actually a D-class middle-level lightning affinity Qi method. Ha ha. Looks like I did not come in vain this time around. After muddling around the Black Corner region for such a long time, he naturally understood just what kind of commotion a lightning affinity chi method of this class would create if auctioned. Of course, he was naturally not foolish enough to take this, rushing lightning mirror, out to auction. He was of the lightning affinity. 
If he had this, rushing lightning mirror, it was likely that he would be able to charge to the Do Hong class within an extremely short amount of time. Xiao Yan also smiled as he looked at the excited Xiao Li. He took out the other silver-colored scroll within the wooden box. He laughed softly, shocking dormant lightning method, D-class middle-level Do skill. It is a Do skill that forms a set with the rushing lightning mirror. Cuckoo, looks like second brother's acquisition today is going to be fantastic. Xiao Yan tossed this scroll to Xiao Li as he spoke. Xiao Li hurriedly and carefully grabbed it before involuntarily laughing out loud. Looks like this old ground demon ghost is also unwilling to take such a qi method out to auction. Hence, he ended up storing them here. Su Qian glanced at the laughing Xiao Li and smiled as he spoke. Xiao Yan nodded. He once again opened a wooden box and a somewhat familiar bright red scroll appeared in his eyes. Flame creation skill? Xiao Yin was immediately startled when he saw the scroll and ended up saying the words out loud. A helpless expression immediately surfaced in his face. He had already obtained this flame creation skill from Fang Yin and the other two elders. However, he had yet to practice it even now. He did not expect another to appear at this moment. Xiao Yin took the scroll and slowly pushed it open. The three large words, flame creation skill, were imprinted into his eyes. This caused the helpless look on Xiao Yan's face to become even greater. It seemed that this thing did not have much use. Just when Xiao Yan was planning to randomly store it away, his hand, that was slowly pulling open the scroll, suddenly paused. His gaze immediately paused on an exceptionally bright red word that was written behind the three large words, Flame Creation Skill. Real? Flame Creation Skill? Real? Xiao Yan was immediately stunned when he saw this, real, word. He immediately knit his brows. Could it be that the flame creation skill that he had obtained from Fong Yin and the other two elders was fake? While he frowning intently, Xiao Yin swiftly pulled open the scroll and carefully read the words on it. This flame creation skill is something that the old me has spent many years of effort to improve. In the past, the flame creation skill might have been strong, but it required at least three people to practice it in order to agglomerate and form a kind of fake heavenly flame. Moreover, each time it is agglomerated, one would pay a heavy price. However, this skill is one level higher. Practicing it by oneself will also allow one to successfully form a fake heavenly flame. Moreover, its strength far exceeds the former. The backlash is also much weaker. Although the training method is even more complicated, it can be considered a flaw that can be ignored when compared to what one can gain. Xiao Yin was involuntarily affected as his gaze slowly swept over it. The reason why he did not practice the flame creation skill was because of the great backlash that came from the agglomerated that heavenly flame. This kind of backlash was something that he had difficulty accepting. However, it was unexpected that the old ground demon ghost was actually able to improve it to such perfection. If one were to talk about it, he really did possess a great ability. Once I successfully master this flame creation skill, would I be able to form a kind of fake heavenly flame on my own in the future? If that is the case, the Elimination Fire Lotus would no longer have its only restraint. It would be a great help to me in my venture to the Central Plains. This old ground demon ghost has really helped me out. A faint joy flashed across Xiao Yan's face when he thought to this point. This trip today was indeed not wasted. Su Qian and the rest smiled when they saw the joy on Xiao Yan's face. After which, their gazes were thrown to the remaining two ancient wooden boxes. Xiao Yin also laughed when he saw their gazes, after which he opened the two wooden boxes together. The wooden boxes were opened, revealing two items within. One was a fist-sized fiery red round bead while the other was a grayish-brown ordinary-looking bamboo scroll. The gazes of Xiao Yin's group were first gathered on the fiery red bead. They could sense that it contained a wild and violent fire affinity energy. This is a monster core? Xiao Yan's eyes firmly remained on the fiery red bead as he spoke somewhat uncertainly. This was the first time that he had seen such a high rank monster core. Yes, it is indeed a monster core. However, its rank is quite high. Moreover, it likely belonged to a high rank magical beast that can already transform its body. Otherwise, it's unlikely that it would possess such a color and energy. Su Qian fondled his beard. Surprise flashed across his eyes as he said, According to my guess, this magical beast should be a rank 7 fire affinity monster core. It is unexpected that the old ground demon ghost even possess such an item. Rank 7 magical beast. 
that was equivalent to the Dozone class. The monster core that was formed within the body of a magical beast of such a rank was extremely valuable. Moreover, the intelligence of a magical beast at this rank was not inferior to that of a human. If it was really forced to a dead end, it would self-destruct its monster core and would not allow its enemies to get anything. Hence, there was seldom anyone who could obtain a monster core of such a rank. Xiaoyan nodded his head. His surprised eyes paused for a moment on the fiery red bead. After which, he turned to the extremely ordinary bamboo scroll. The bamboo scroll was a grayish-brown color. Its material also appeared extremely ordinary. However, Xiaoyan knew that something kept here by the old ground demon ghost would not be ordinary. Xiaoyan slowly pulled the bamboo scroll open after gently cracking a tiny line on it. After which, some blood words that contained a ruthless violence appeared in front of his sweeping gaze, causing his heart to leap abruptly.